Hello friends, you're with the Lonesome Gamer and I'm still playing Merchant of Venus following my own solitaire rules that you can find on BGG. So um, I'm now at turn 12 and uh, I'm trying to fulfill this mission here go to the ice world have to um, I, I need to have two goods that I can trade there to fulfill that mission that is possible I got that chickle liquor so I simply move here now and uh, maybe I can sell that stuff then so first let's start with the exploration role and no first the turn marker moves on and we have to draw from the passenger cap. So that is a tax collector. He starts at the galactic base and then we draw for exploration. And that is number four and that is already explored. And uh, well now, let's see what the speed is. Whoa, that's a lot. This is 17. Okay, and we have doubles. So again, a trade will probably occur. Let's see. We have here number, in this case it's number 7, it's a 30-sided die and I only have 14 goods so I will divide that by 2. So this is number 7 and that good is not yet discovered so there is no trade going on. And now I can move. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and I got this drill token that I can place now here. 7 eight nine okay here we go and now we can fulfill this mission and uh, these folks have very liberal definitions of what constitutes blankets and firewood on the ice world so we keep this mission card and it will bring us to fame. You see that here at the end of the game. And in addition we gain now a reward card and that is airfoil. You may spend one movement point instead of two when moving along green paths. Additionally you may move from a surface city to another surface city in the same system for one movement point. Finally, I can maneuver through planetary atmospheres without the hull peeling off. Well, that's definitely a useful tool. And then we can draw a new mission. And that is now destination, the multi-generation ship. That would be over here. So we are down there. Eh. So it's not exactly around the corner. Objective. Have a level 2 or level 3 pilot while at the spaceport in this system. Okay, so we have to level up to fulfill this mission. And now we will sell our goods there. And sadly we have now a low market here. So that gives us only 160 and in addition we have to pay taxes and uh, this is now turn 11 to 20 
so we have to pay 10% taxes because we don't trade in my own um, spaceport. So that is... Um, but we only have to, to pay taxes from the, from the profit. So we have to calculate this now. So we paid 80, we gain 160, so we had a profit of 80 and that means we have to pay 8 taxes. Okay, so we gained 152 and now we have here 192 bucks. Ah, sadly this is not enough to buy these pedigree bolts for 200 and it's also not enough to buy um, uh, to buy uh, a spaceport. So I will buy a laser and it would be great now to buy, I don't know, maybe three or four lasers, but according to my rules, I can only buy one, pay, uh, one laser <coughs> during the transaction phase, or one ship improvement during a transaction phase. <coughs> I think it's too easy otherwise to just spend all your money in, 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 in ship improvement and the ship is uh, fully equipped after a short time. So I prefer to do it this way. So I have to pay 40 now. One, two, three, four. And uh, I'll gain one laser. Okay. So that was not exactly great. But, uh, yeah. Well, let's go on. Oh, and of course we have a market shift. So now the market is high again. Okay, actually I was not really sure what to do. There were two interesting options. The first one, I could, I could move with my ship here to the asteroid uh, system and explore that, find a new culture here. Um, the other one would be that I move back to the jungle world, buy a few more designer genes, then pass the super giant, which will not be so easy, and go here to the giant planet. And I could sell the designer genes there, and maybe I can get this market flux, which is pretty awesome. It's a very important item, actually. And after that, I could buy maybe some canned trades and move back here to the colony world, sell my stuff here, and then I might even consider here going to the galactic base and finally um, uh, level up. Maybe I can pick up the tax collector, go back to the colony world. Something like that. I'm not sure about that. that these are actually ideas. I think I might stay in this area for the next time. I think that's a better idea. Okay, so I move on here and drill token is removed. So I get 10 additional now. Here we go. Then we roll for exploration. And that is number five. Well, let's see what that is. Yeah. Here we go. This is the interstellar biosphere, which is already explored. And again, crazy. So that is again a possible trade because of the doubles. Let's see. That is the second good. So these would be the canned trades. This is not good. I wanted to get that. So this is here at the giant planet. 
And because it's between turn 11 and 20, there are now three goods removed. That's bad. That is really bad. That disturbs my plans a lot. So this goes now back here. And we need now to find out who will buy this. Three, four, five or six. Let's see. Number four is not yet discovered. So five would be here. Um, six would be down here. And three would be here. And there are no needs. And because uh, three and five have each a low market, the buyer will be the humans here. Okay. So we have a market shift here. So now we also have a low market here. And this is now double six. So if you roll doubles four to six, build an enemy spaceport on a random green space in that system if there is still one space left. Okay. So let's say the enemy color is red. And there are now two possible spaces here. So let's roll. One to three is the upper one. And that's a five. So we have now an enemy spaceport here. Okay. So um, now we have 17 movement points. So from now on we have to spend only one if we travel these green lines and uh, well maybe it hmm well that was that was nasty really that the canned trains are now gone away that changes the situation a little bit it's not that uh, profitable now anymore to to take that route on the other side if I go here to the asteroid system, I'm pretty far away from the galactic base and I need to go there if I want to level up, which might be a very useful idea. So I think I follow my plan anyway. So um, let me see, I definitely have enough to go to the jungle world. One, two, again I pass that space here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is another asteroid. And that gives me another drill token. Ah. Here we go. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One. I'm not sure. Maybe I. No, I think I'll stay here. I move here. Okay, fine. And uh, the point is now I cannot... I cannot sell anything here. But what I could do is... I could buy a yellow engine and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do this. So that costs me 80. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here we go. And that makes me now a little faster. Because now I can skip all the yellow spaces on the board. And in addition, I can now buy... Uh, uh, I can buy one of these designer jeans. Yeah. Okay. It's not exactly perfect. Would be better to buy two of it, but we don't have enough money. That's a simple fact. Okay. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's the end of the turn. Oh, and again, I forgot the market step. So 
So we have now here a high market. Very good. Next turn. New passenger. Oh, that's a demand token for glorious junk. Here at number six. So it's getting more and more interesting to go there with some glorious junk. Get some money for that. Let's see, where is it? Where is the glorious junk? Is it here? No, that's the living toys. Here. Well, maybe that would be an interesting alternative route to go there and... Ah, yeah. Okay, well, I think first I go to the giant planet, sell the designer jeans, and then let's see what I can do. Maybe I'll go then here to the nebula habitat, buy some glorious junk, and move down here to the Warthorn system. We'll see about that. So the exploration room. Six, that is planet number three, that is already discovered. And then the speed dice. <clears throat> Great. That's a seven. So again, doubles, again trading. That is number 15. And that is now, because there are only 14 cultures, that is now my number for the uh, galactic base. So in this case, no trading occurs, but the tax collector here at the galactic base is removed, and that's it. <clears throat> so another annoying thing. Man, I'm really unlucky. I wanted to take that guy when I level up. Damn. Okay, so... But, oh man... Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I will spend, I will assign a die here on my throttle boost and now move on. Uh, and I can roll another one here. That's a six, very good. So now I got 13. One, two, three. This is an event. Let's see what that is. Illegal armaments. Place an asteroid token on your current space. Okay. Choose an opponent to receive an amount of infantry equal to its to his infamy equal to his laser value. <coughs> so in this case, this card is played on me. Of course, those aren't guns mounted on my hull. Stand there in the front and I'll fire her to, up to show you. Okay, so first we will spend an asteroid there. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I can place a drill token now on this asteroid, but uh, I, I don't know that actually. I won't do it. Next time I fly by this asteroid, I will place a drill token there, but not now. I think this is just an event, so hmm, who knows. And then we have to, we will gain one infamy, because we have a laser value of one. So we take one of these red tokens, and they will be subtracted from the fame at the end, and... Uh, as I said, each fame gives me one, uh, gives me ten additional bucks. Okay, uh, that was, and then we have here a production round on culture number five. So this is good. Finest dust is produced. So we place one good here. where the Dell are. Okay, so that was now one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight, 
7 and this is the super giant and <clears throat> we bet we're pretty sure gonna have a problem here um, we have a shield value of 4 so if we roll 3 or less we pass the check if we roll a 4 or more we failed sadly we cannot use our variable shield because we already assigned a die to uh, to this box here so all we can do is now roll and hope that we make it and that's a 5 so we failed that is bad because we will also fail the next check which will be a laser check and uh, so that will take me some time to pass the super giant here man okay next turn we gain 10 and then let's roll for exploration okay well there was no exploration and actually I went on I I now made it to the giant planet I failed every test here at the super giant so it took me some turns to get there um, now I turn 18 actually and uh, I'm now here at the Volois planet so I will now sell the designer jeans and they give me a hundred each because the market is sadly low so um, I'll gain 200 and I paid 120 so again I have a profit of 80 so I have to pay 8 taxes so I only get 192 okay I'll, I'll then buy the market flux which is a pretty awesome device um, it says immediately perform a market shift in the system of your choice that is amazingly strong because <clears throat> anytime there is a low market I can now perform a market shift at that system to be honest I think this is a little bit overpowered so um, I have a special rule for that I can only use this thing if I assign a die showing a 6. So I have to place that here and I have to pay 90 for this. And ah, that's painful. Mm, there are just a few bucks missing to to buy the canned trades. That's really bad luck. I'm not sure if I should buy this then. Damn it. Okay, that's a real problem. I think I cannot afford this thing. I think I have to I have to leave it here that's really really painful but I simply don't have the money to buy this damn it I need to buy the can trades instead they're very really really expensive but uh, I do need some goods and uh, hmm I have to do this. I think there is no other way. Ah, oh, that's really such a bad luck. Okay, so I pay 140 for the can trades. 100, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we go. Damn. Oh yeah, okay. Hmm. 
And that is the end of the turn then. Let's see what kind of passenger we get here. So this is an ambassador. So he's at 13, which is up here. Okay. Then let's roll for exploration. Well, that would be system number 14, which is... Ah, well, let me see. I think it is already explored. Yeah, that would have been the war-torn system. So, let's set our speed. Ah, I'm rolling bad. So, I'm rolling always doubles. It's ridiculous. Again, more trading going on. And that is good number two. The can trades, but, uh, well, there is no nothing left. Um, if there is no good left because it's sold out, then we have to roll again. This is a difference. Um, if the good is not yet discovered, then you don't roll again. Then simply no crate, uh, trade occurs. But if it is sold out, you roll again. So in this case, would be good number 12. The designer genes. And now three of these designer genes go away. And let's see who will buy them. 13, 14, 1 or 2. Oh, let's check that out. Here's number 2. Number 1. Number 14. And we got up here number 13. So there is a high market at number 13. There are no needs anywhere, no demand tokens, but a high market here. So it's sold here. We have a market shift. So the market goes down again here. And the ambassador goes away. And it is double one. So, in addition, we have to draw an event card. And it's again illegal armaments. So, again, I will receive um, I will receive one infamy token. Why is the ability to destroy another starship, no matter the cause, illegal? Isn't this supposed to be a free cluster? <clears throat> Fine. So let's see on which of the two spaces we have to place the blue dot. That is place number six, so that will be here actually. Um, yeah, here we go. And this is now simply a blue space. <clears throat> and in addition, there is a production step here on culture number six, but there is nothing that we can produce here. Okay. So I will assign the one on my thruster. Roll again, another die, and that is a four. So I got 10 movement points. And I got to remember that I can skip the uh, the yellow ones because of my yellow engine. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I just can make it to the colony world. Very good. So this allows me now to sell the canned trades. Sadly again we have only a low market here. So I only get 190. And in addition I have to spend, I have to pay taxes here. Oh man this is hard. So it's a profit of 50 so I have to pay 5 taxes. So I only get 185.
Okay. Okay. Actually, I will not buy anything here. I'm really thinking about flying back to the giant planet and buying the market flux there. This is such a precious item. Can save you so much money. I'm not sure about that. But first we have to do a market step here. So the market is high now. And yeah, that's now the, the that's now the question. Will I go back to the giant planet? Or will I move directly to the galactic base? and from there to the nebula habitat. I can level up at the galactic base, that's why I have to go there. Difficult decision. I think... Well, let me see how much money I have for this Damn. Well, first of all, turn counter goes on. Let's check about exploration. This is the system number 13. And I think this is not discovered yet. That would be the polluted planet. So this is actually this one now. Okay. And these are the Nicks. So that says small in stature and gregarious in cl what? Climania, Climina. The Nicks are impish creatures who chatter endlessly on all manner of topics. While they prefer living in rustic tree villages, they are by no means simple and are unique, uniquely attuned to the natural world. So. That is culture number four. Uh, let's see. The market is high. <laughs> That's a little weird. They love their natural world but live on a polluted planet. Anyway. And uh, there's the stealth field. That's the racial technology. And that goes away. So that's not so good. And then we have here a politician and the living toys can be traded here. So let's see what I do now. Oh, come on. I think this is the third roll in a row where I roll double one. That is really bad. And we actually have a trade of finest dust. So three go away here. Six, seven, eight, nine. So it might be here. Probably that will be the case. Yeah. Let's see. Nah. Yep. It's sold here. So we have a market shift here at the trapped rogue planet. Market is down then. And the salesman is going away. And there is no um, there is no event space here, so we don't have to draw an event card. And the racial technology is also already discarded. So and we only have a movement of five. This is completely ridiculous. So again, I will use the boost, and I will roll again. Well, finally. 
And I roll more with this die than with the three others together. Okay, that gives me an 11. That is good. That should be enough to go to the galactic base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can skip that one. So I made it to the galactic base. And now I'm allowed to pay 60. And then I can level up. So I can flip this card now. Want to see a trick? I saw a pilot do this once and I think I know how it works. Okay, so I'm a little better now. I got now a navigational skill of 5, which is definitely better than 3, what I had before. And to upgrade to the next level, during your move step, pay 60 at a surface city or spaceport in the system containing the Wynum culture. That is actually my own culture. And uh, the point is this culture is not discovered yet. There are still three unexplored systems, the desert world, the multi-generational ship and the asteroid system. But uh, I might go to the multi-generational ship in well pretty soon maybe okay let's go on here draw another passenger and this is an arms dealer and he goes here and that is pretty good I might pick this guy up where does he want to go 14 water world that's interesting. Ah, might consider making a turn here like this. That's not easy because of these different navigational points. Hmm. Ah, let's see. So, we want to go in this direction. Generally, my plan is to buy glorious junk and sell it to the humans. They have, a, they have two demand markers for that. So it might be a good idea to do this. So again, let's see if we have some exploration here. Nope. And there is also no trade this time. We have a 12. So let's see. This is the uh, spaceport where we can trade with the nebula habitat. So I will assign a 6 or a 5. Well, it doesn't matter actually to my navigational space and then I can move in this direction and I have to draw an event card. And these are pirates and that is actually the worst pirate ever so place the plus six pirate token on this space. So let's do this first. Okay so this is a really tough one we placed now the plus six pirate token here and it says Warworm Amunthas wasn't he the rest or overlord during the invasion what do we do? I make it a policy to not argue with 12 foot long armored worms retreat yeah that makes sense I guess so what I do is I use my shield and I will assign the second die and now I'm allowed to assign two dice because uh, I am now a level 2 pilot so I will now assign a die to the variable shields and that gives me now a shield, a shield value of 9 so now what I do is I will roll this die and add 6 to the result and if the result is higher than my shield value or equal 
then I failed. Or is that right? Yes, it is. So let's see. I, I think I can only roll a two or so. Let, let's see. Well, that is definitely too much. So I lost this. And uh, let's see what happens. F first of all, I will lose. Uh, it's the end of the turn. I have to stop here. And then I got to check what happens. Okay, so actually I only have to pay 20 bucks. If I had... Um, I think these are golden. If I had golden um, goods, then I, uh, I would lose them actually. But uh, in this case, because I don't have any goods, I only have to pay 20 bucks and my turn ends. But the pirate stays there, so that's definitely not a good thing. And uh, yeah, let's go on the next turn, and I think this will be now the last one, so we'll move this on. And roll again for exploration first. So that would be number six, and that might be actually... Let me see. Yeah, that's the desert world. So now the desert world up here is explored by the AI. These are the Winans. Ah, that's my home planet. These practical creatures are renowned for their dry wit. They are rumored to be descendants of irate, uncomfortable horses on a desperate quest to find a comfortable way to sit down. Their hoof-crafted goods are treasured throughout the galaxy. Okay, that's my culture here. And uh, if I go there and I trade there, I get a 10% discount. So, first of all, the market is low. Then, racial technology is the footsie dice, or fuzzy dice, and they are actually discarded, or one of them, the other one stays here. And finally we have there the impossible furniture. Okay. And then, let's do a movement roll. And another trading action. Okay, that was the galactic base again, but because there is no passenger, nothing happened here. And then we can simply move here. And, uh, well, we can now trade with the guys from the Nebula Habitat. We don't have anything to sell. We could sell here without paying taxes, because this is one of the two neutral spaceports. This one and the multi-generational ship. Uh, but we don't have anything to sell anyway. So, um, hmm. what I do is I will buy glorious junk. And I'm not sure how much. Hmm. Question is, will I buy the glorious junk and take the armstaler with me? Could be an option. If I do this, I have to buy only three of the glorious junk. Leave one here. That might be an idea. And uh, leave one of the, of the storage rooms free. And place the arms dealer there. And I also want to buy another... Uh, do I have to buy another shield? Well, I'm not sure. Probably not. I have a good shield rally with my variable shield. I probably won't need an additional shield here. It's not such an easy decision.
Well, to be honest, this guy is not exactly on my route. The water world is not exactly where I want to go. So I think what I'll do is I will buy three, I will buy four glorious junk. And then move down here past the multi generational. Oh, on the other hand, well, oh, no. I could go back from here and then go to the water world. Yeah, I think I'll, die. I'll do it. I, I buy only three and I'll take the arms dealer with me. And this is his destination here, number 14. So this is the Corsoth. And uh, so I'll place him now here at the cargo bay. And I have to pay 90. I don't have to pay anything for picking up the arms dealer. But I have to pay, of course, 90 for... Um, for the glorious junk. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it then. That was the end of that turn and uh, well, I think I'm not doing good actually. I was pretty unlucky. I rolled bad for movement. I rolled lots of doubles. Uh, so there was a lot of trade going on which uh, well, kind of thinned out the market and I was a little lucky here with these uh, with these canned trades would be great to to sell them to the colony world which didn't occur and uh, yeah well, there were some missed opportunities I think I couldn't buy the market flux damn okay anyway let's see Let's see how it goes on. Uh, hope to see you in the next videos. Until then, bye.